Oh yes, I remember that. This sounds absolutely crazy, but this tiny house we can actually walk into to continue this level. I think that's what we needed to do. Which is why that room is so large. That is just such a cool way to to develop a game. I love it. So we take this house and we try and make it bigger. And then we just walk in here and then we have that camera trick that we had there last time. That this is this difficult bit here when you develop that. So whatever we see through the door isn't actually, I mean, this is technically a projection filmed through another camera that is offset against where we are right now. And you, you can barely see it. It just behaves slightly differently behind there than if you'd look at this. So this is in the same room and this is not. And it's it almost looks exactly the same. And the way to do this is to put a plane into that door frame and then project something onto that plane through, filmed through a different camera. And that is how the perspective then works. So the guys who made Portal, they have made exact, this is the, how they've done it. Uh, while you put a portal and then you look through a different part of the room, that is how that's done. You put a camera in there. And then the moment we go in here and actually go into this level, there's a tiny switch here and you can barely see it. But there, that's, that's where that was. You can barely see it. Also, color shifts a little bit, but it's barely noticeable. But this is a difficult bit to work out. If ever you wanted to make this happen, yourself in a game engine this is the tricky bit if you're trying to get this done either for portals or for for doing weird shifts like that this is where that tricky bit happens and now the saturation is being cranked up because we're now as soon as we cross that threshold we're in a different room superbly done because if you do it fast you you wouldn't even know this is happening you just you just rack your brains thinking how did they do that Black Wolf, how you doing? Good to see you. This thing here, I remember that from our last playthrough. If this is too large because you've made the house too large, you've got to go out and make the house smaller. That'll make essentially everything inside the house smaller. Is that right? I don't know. Maybe not. I'm just thinking. Maybe it doesn't. Because once we're in that level, I don't think actually the, the, the size of the object changes. And we can always try it out. No, actually, the size of the object changes because the soda machine is now much larger than it was before. So if we needed things to be smaller inside here, we have to make the whole house smaller. So it's a good thing to remember that. And then, of course, when you load that level, when you bring the player into the next level, you have to then go and scale everything up accordingly. That is just bizarre, man. Yeah, I suppose we have our answer. In order for us to fit through here, everything needs to be slightly larger in the house so the house needs to be bigger so that the door is bigger so we can walk through it ay caramba can we pick any of these things up because i have a feeling we're gonna need some help oh is this the house no 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 that's a different house this is not the house in which we started Oh my god, that's creepy. That is so creepy. I think that's what we have to do now. Take the house, make that bigger. Right? <laughs> Black Wolf, how you doing today? Is this how we do that? We can just about walk up here. Is this big enough? Yes! Oh my god, round of applause! We've made it! And I think now the scale's been reset and we're, we're back into normal scale land, but that was crazy creepy here. I'm not going back. Oh, I'm not going back, this was crazy. 